slain clans of mice and men oft gang aglay. You'd better come quietly, Shame. Let's drill, eh, boss? Most of your hardware, fellas. Wouldn't want no stray bullets in this here truck after all this work. And all that money facing us. We ain't got a chance against the dynamic duo. Leastwise, not without guns. Talking to you is like talking pig Latin to a donkey. We got them outnumbered. Three and a half to two. Now, let's hang up their hides. What's up, Migo fans? What's up, Batman fans? Welcome back to the MIB Master Museum. I'll be your curator today. And guys, we got another fun one for you. Another 1966 Batman villain. We welcome back Shame. And this is the prison inmate variant Shame. Super cool, guys. Let's bring this guy in. We did a, a review on our regular Shame. And you can check that out on our video um, catalog on our channel. But this is a variant of Shame. Released by Figures Toy Company. Back in 2015. Here's his hat. His inmate uniform. If you can get it, we can get a shot of the back. You can see the, the prison numbers on Shane. Shane was a cool character uh, that was made... Uh, exclusively for the 1966 Batman series TV show and he was played by uh, legendary actor Cliff Robertson uh, and a lot of you guys probably know Cliff Robertson as Uncle Ben from the uh, Spider-Man franchise Peter Parker's uh, uncle but Cliff Robertson owned this part of shame uh, bringing his own um, sense of uh, comedy and wit to the character. And this character was not supposed to get this much playtime episode-wise. Um, this would be a role that Cliff Robertson would, would uh, do multiple times. This character uh, was a really cool character. A Western, old Western type of a character and it was it was fun he he gave Batman and Robin all he could handle and the head sculpt figure soy company got the head sculpt correct this is a super likeness to Cliff Robinson Robertson I'm sorry as you can see there's a great shot of his Cliff Robertson as shame in his prison inmate variant outfit the detail on this outfit is just phenomenal now he doesn't come with his famous six shooters like our first uh, shame did But that's the cool part about being a variant. He just got his hat. This is something that Figures Toy Company, once again, is thinking outside of the box with these figures. Giving the Batman 1966 fans of the TV show all that they could possibly want, wish for, hope for, dream of. You name it, Figures Toy Company has found a way to get a variant out on practically every villain and Batman and Robin and Batgirl, you know, variant. 
from from the TV show, which made it it just makes it that much more collectible. Uh, this this set you can still find this guy uh, Shane at Figures Toy Company, and I think he's going roughly for uh, twenty nine dollars. He's a little bit more expensive because he is a, a variant, but uh, you're definitely getting what you pay for. His collectability is going to maintain. I don't think a lot of uh, these uh, variants were produced to begin with. So you can't lose on that end either. Guys, tell me what you think about the, the shame prison inmate variant. Did they need to make him? Were we okay with the first shame? Should we should we see more variants from the 1966 cla cla uh, Batman Classic TV series? What do you think, guys? Leave your comment in the comment section right underneath this video, and we'll love to get uh, get the chatter started about about shame. Let's turn this guy around. Check out the back. Once again, the roster is loaded. You got Chief O'Hara. Dick Grayson, Bruce Wayne, there's Barbara Gor Gordon, her alter ego, Batgirl, Alfred. I mean, you just got just a number of them. And then you have several cat women. And the list simply goes on and on and on. Let's get you a... Uh, 2015 just phenomenal guys with any cool variant we like to always do a comparison we always do comparisons even though this is not variant Tuesday which is coming up very quickly guys so we're excited about variant Tuesday but with all variants we like to do a comparison. And with that being said, let's bring in our comparison here. Get you blown out. Here's our first shame. Just a super cool outfit. Um, This is one of the selling points once again on this shame figure was the outfit. He's super layered up. But because I'm such a huge uh, Western, old Western cowboy movie fan, these six shooters did the trick for me. And there's his hat. Beautiful likeness of Cliff Robertson. And here's our variant. And this, the variants are geared entirely towards collectors. Figures Toy Company and other companies that produce these, these figures and G.I. Joes and all that, they're very, very smart. They know as collectors, we simply cannot allow a variant to get past us. Once again, uh, variants are exclusive. They're desirable. They're sought after. And on some occasions, very, very difficult to find. But you still can find this guy. Like I said, uh, Figure Story Company is still carrying uh, the Shame Prison Inmate uh, variant figure. And they're still carrying the regular shame. Now, for how, how long? That's the question. Let's get you another close-up. I love this shirt. Once again, the selling, the selling point for me uh, was the fact that it was another shame because I'm a huge shame fan of the TV show. So I, I, I really wanted this figure. I wanted all aspects of this figure, uh, every variant that they could come out with, uh, because Cliff Robinson's a really cool actor, 
And like I said, he really owned that part. So to know that there was a shame variant uh, out and he was not in our museum collection was killing me. So once again, uh, we, we've made several purchases. We've been making a lot of purchases from uh, Figures Toy Company to make certain that, you know, we have um, all of these figures and variants uh, stocked in our our museum because we're getting a lot of requests to see certain uh, figures and we just want to make sure that we can uh, appease our subscribers and our viewers and with that being said please like and subscribe it helps the channel it gives us a better understanding what you guys want to see We would like to thank our old subscribers. Without you guys, we couldn't do this. You guys drive and power this channel. We So we definitely appreciate all the love and support that we've been receiving from you guys. The comments, keep them coming in, guys. We're having fun with this. Just two awesome figures, guys. Two awesome figures. And we wanted to get this shame out to you. Let's put our put our other shame up. Guys, with that being said, you know the drill. Grab your favorite beverage, hop on the couch, kick back, relax, and tune in to the MIB Master Museum Channel. God bless. And keep collecting.